I'm Kathy. And I'm Missy. And we're Two Needles Pulling Thread. Welcome back. Happy spring. Yeah. <laughs> From the land of 26 inches of snow. <laughs> no, yeah. So last Ish. time we said it was rainy and we could see the backyard. We can still see the backyard. It's just white. Mm. Yeah. It's a sheet of white. Yeah. But okay. it was 46 on my way home today. It's warm, so the yards are muddy, gross, and yet we have piles of snow. Yeah. yeah. So Easter eggs will be easy to find. Only if you throw them in the backyard, yeah. And only if they're not white. That's right. <laughs> so, anyway, we're um, not doing that, so. No. No. Well, we might. We're going. You guys might. We might, yeah. Um, yeah. Not very far away. Got six or eight inches, and we got 26, so. Yeah. It's just how it is. Spring of Maine. Anyway, that's that. Yeah, uh, it's Wednesday. We mm -hmm. are right on two weeks again. We are. And uh, we got to schedule some more going out too. Yep. That, that so. worked well for me. Yeah. Me focused. And uh, focus power. I've done some. Uh, Next time I'll have haul because it's all. I fell off and burned a wagon. Me too. This weekend was rough. I add the cart. Two weekends <clears throat> in a row. Add the cart. I did a lot of add the cart. So, yeah, it'll okay. be fun. What have you been up to? <clears throat> work, work, work. Work, stitching, when I can. Started yep. an afghan today, because I could. <laughs> I love it. Pick a craft, any craft. Yeah. I just, I've been feeling, I told you yeah. and yeah. the others that I felt the urge to crochet and then Joy sent me um, a picture in, or something and said, yeah, I, have you watched, yep. uh, is it Country Cottage? I can't remember who it was. You, you shared Shoot, it. It's a mother-daughter team, and I forget what the name of their floss tube is. I'll try to remember that. Um, have you seen the continuous granny square blanket she's doing? And you just started. The yarn was amazing. So, um, what was it I saw? Yeah, but the crazy part is I ordered what I really wanted online from Joanne's, and they are being slower than driving to get it. They didn't have it. Oh, locally. So yesterday, Ellie and I were out for a field trip and went into Joanne's, and I bought something else until what I really wanted comes in. I love it. So cool. um, what was I saw the other day? Uh, oh, look, yarn buys five, needs none. Oh, look, this buys five, needs none. Yeah, I, I definitely didn't need any of it. I don't have, yeah, I'm not going there. What you got? Not a lot. Not a lot. So I got lines. I got no. lines. Yeah. I did a massage. I didn't do it. I had a massage today. So uh, no previous. They're all up here. So I think this one is my favorite. No, uh, chocolate bunnies? Yep. With the cotton. Yeah. I don't have any. I have no um, FFOs. I said I didn't have a finish, but I actually finished it last night, so I do have a finish. Oh, I have one finish. I was so close last night. So close. Um, but I did... Oh, found a needle. Um, Brenda Gervais. Um, it's from Jelly Bean Jubilee. And it was called... Not that. Easter Parade. And I'm trying to find it so it looks better. Well, you'll figure it out. I took the Easter ears off the chick so it would be springy it's and cute. I got it done. That was a fun, fun stitch. I like um, the satin stitch wings. Lugana makes satin, st satin stitches so yes, much easier. It's easier than on Ada. Yeah. 25 count oatmeal Lugana, just DMC. Very so. pretty. Yeah, that was fun. That was a quick stitch too. Did you use all the called for? That yellow doesn't look as bright. You must have. I DMC. must have. Yeah, it says yeah. DMC, so okay. I must have. I may have subbed something, but I don't think I did. Well, you know, sometimes pictures look a little different. Though. Right, yeah, because they look very pale. Yeah. Um, I like it, though. Yeah. It's very mustard color. So, and then I'll probably wait the next year, do something different, but I thought. That's pretty. Yeah, I want to do this one at some point. Hannah Stitch Fairy, I think. Yeah, is her name. And she just finished, she, or she's stitching it. Did Jess Como stitches stitch? Yes. Yeah. So, but I want to do what they did and just do a couple of flowers with the chick. Oh. Yeah. But that'll be a next year. 
that'll be a next year project. Cool. But that's I it. I had a, I started this. Oh, yes. It's a free, I don't have, I downloaded the freebie. It's from Teresa Kogut. You can find it on her website. Um, I downloaded it directly into my good notes, so I don't have a picture of it, but you'll see this anyway. Oh, how he loves us, and it is titled "He Loves Us." That is beautiful, and it was. So did you much pull your own colors? Do. No, I did all called for DMC, and I had it done in a couple days. That would look really, really nice in a it one of the. So nice. I found a frame today that would. I wish I had thought about it. It's, it's arched at the top. Oh. That would be nice in my one hour at Hobby Lobby. That's a long time. It is. I set nice. a timer and everything. That's my finish for that. That's it. How about starts? I have a bunch. I have. Oh, I can't wait to see one that. listed, but really, I have two. Okay. Yes. Um, I do have the picture of this. This is Sweet Wing Studio, as he said. I just started this this afternoon, so I don't have much. This came in the um, Fanciful Flamingo Alicia in her monthly box. So I don't know at what point or if this will be released, but I am going to start this. And the box came with 16 count Grace Notes fabric, and I decided to use it. Yep. Me so too. that how far and you might see my carry threads through because I carry threads oh if they see yours they're really gonna see mine and it really is nice I didn't quite understand um, why the cross would be so covered in flowers and um, Teresa Garden Goose was talking about a church that she used to go to on every Easter they used to do that they would hand out lots of flowers and then I think as you leave you would put them in a cross yeah so I don't know the name of this fabric. I don't either. You you have come a long way on yours. Yes. So that's I'll, one of my starts. So I'll show mine while you have this while you're grabbing yours. Yes. Um I also used all the threads, all uh the fabric. I changed my word colors. Um but that's how far I have. And I have the words down here. A little more of the cross, and then I think it's a bunny and a Okay, bunny and I have it right here. Bunny and a lamb. Um, and I'm gonna what put color are the oh that's what color the words. And are. my mine just blends okay. right into the I fabric. See. It's actually a purpley color. It is. It's called if you were using the classic color works chocolate cream pie. But it's purple. But it's really purpley. I'm using well, we got the DMC pack. That's what I'm using. Are you using that, the pack? That is the color that they're calling chocolate cream pie. So um, I actually it's tried really it with the purple, and then I tried it with peach, and I settled on green. I am going to put beads, and I did all of these. These are supposed to be two different colors. <coughs> um, I did them all the same, oh, okay. and I'm going to put beads on my cross. Well, there you go. So, It's very nice. Yep. I'm enjoying it. Uh, the cross went much faster than I thought it would being, I guess you'd call it confetti-ish. Well, yeah, it is. It really is. All right, go ahead. Sorry. And I, I started. Mine. So I have um, scheduled, I would say, significant, a significant start for wow. me. Wow. Um, each month. So I've got those all planned out. I've got them all together in a thing. That's for 24 and 24. Nope. I'm just doing a new start each month of oh, something okay. that I've been wanting to do. Kind of stole that from Teresa. Yeah. So this is Glendon Place Eggs All Around. I got this whole kit for Christmas. So I'm using all called for. The fabric is 28 count. Picture this plus chrysalis linen. But that's very not, easy to see. Is that the called for linen? Because, yeah, it is. Oh, because it looks like it's white. No, it's called for. The picture is. Those eggs so are. So it really is a green green. Gorgeous. And they're so much fun. So these egg, these two eggs are complete with the exception of the beads. And I'm working on the green as I go. And that green, you can see when this was done and photographed, that that is, I think it's a Gentle Arts Spring Green. I think it's Gentle Arts, I'm not positive. 
and you can see clear variegation. Well, this is not, but I'm gonna stick with it. I don't mind it. No, it's pretty. Those eggs my, are much my bigger. My other options were, were not variegation either. And I could have gotten a DMC variegated, but you know me and stitching one X at a time. Right. I would have had to have done that with There's, that. You can, there is some. You can there actually is. See. It's it's very slight, but there is. So are the holes, the, the yep, all beads? That's all going to be beads. Oh, wow. That is gorgeous with the crying. Someday. So I really, I really have enjoyed it. I worked, for the most part, the first couple of weeks of the month, I worked on Mm -hmm. Retreat stuff, secret projects, that sort of thing. It's just um, bigger than I thought I just, it would be. I worked on this for a week solid, which when these days is not a ton of stitching for me. But And then I switched over this weekend to do some. Yeah. I really wanted to do some holy week stitching. So that's just one floss ring. That's just one? That's one. Oh, my God. The other one's down in the bottom. It's gorgeous, though. Anyway, it's fun. I enjoy it. That was my um march start that i wanted to do nice that's it that's it that's it oh boy i have a whip but i only okay. have one whip i only have one whip i have like <coughs> all kinds of starts this is tis spring with teeth marks cap dang it <laughs> tis spring by brenda gervais it's pretty and else color is pretty um changed it <laughs> Shocker. All the call, <clears throat> excuse me, all the called for except that one color. Um, this is on Oaken, uh, 18 count Oaken. Um, I hemmed and hawed over whether to do 18 count or 25 count and I decided I wanted all four of them the same mm -hmm. size. Yeah. Um, that is where I'm at. I did not tea dye the pink. Oh, it says to? Yep, it oh. says to tea dye the pink I'm not and doing tea dye. Of A different color and I didn't do it because I was afraid it would blend right in with the fabric yeah plus I like the colors I ended up changing the door now does that baffle you yes this I don't is know called why it's called Saint that. Bernard and it's blue green maybe it's really named for a place and not the oh okay. Saint Bernard it is s-a-i-n-t right for the dog right but the abbreviation, who knows? Maybe it's named for um, It called place. for deep fennel, which, no, it didn't. I'm sorry. It called for tiny vine, which is greeny. But I wanted more blue mm. because, because those were the two colors. And I thought there was too much contrast. Yeah, I agree. So I'm doing. I like it. Those two. And that's deep fennel in yep. St. Bernard. Yep. Nice. So that's where I am on that. Um, I'm going to. Once I'm done with this thread, I'm gonna do the windows, which if anyone has lit, looked or listened to other people, the windows are not chartered to be filled in, but the picture clearly shows them uh -huh. filled in. Okay. I'm gonna fill in the windows. The color? Yeah. So I can uh, do fill in at the retreat, as much as we all hate fill in. We all say how much we hate fill in. Mm. Cat hair, we were just talking about cat hair. I started, um, Spring by Emily Call. 18 count winter mint by Atomic Ranch. And I don't have the picture because I did it did as a demo. Did you buy this at Reese's? I did, I bought 18 count and I bought 28 count. I had it in my hand two or three times and kept putting it back. When I sorted through my fabric this week, I found a whole, I think it was a half yard of it. So oh, I'm glad geez. I didn't buy it. Um, I was like trying to decide and Emma said, you need them both. Is it okay? Um, so, uh, in the picture, the purple looks much more variegated. Oh. Um, but that's called for DMC. Uh, I didn't even. I don't even have it in a bag. I have it sitting on my counter. I have nothing labeled. I need to go back in and put my labels in. This one was fun. Once again, I did instant download and I ran out of ink, so I haven't been printing the covers. This is the one I thought I would be done this with tonight. This is cute. I love this. Erin Elizabeth. And actually, I'll tell you what it's on. One More Reproduction by Be Stitch Me, 18 count. I'll be done this tonight. This is called Quack Quack Honk. And I love it. I just love it. So all I have left is the words. Look at that detail in those birds. Mm-hmm. 
I actually saw her mallet today. Um, I'm gonna make it into a pillow. I'm gonna use Lady Dot, if I can find the right color, Lady Dot trim. So I think the yellow, pale yellow with the X's fabric will look good. My other option, I could use the bright rain boot fabric on the back, but I think that would clash just a tad. But it's very pretty. I love it. I like it. Erin Elizabeth, she's been knocking it out of the park. That's that one. I showed as he said. And this is my last one. Um, I decided to jump right into the Mill Hill hole. And this is a Jim Shore Mill Hill Pinecone Gnome. And it came with all the things. So I pulled a Helen D and I took a file folder and I labeled, mm. put all the symbols and cut the holes. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna cross them all out and use the back side. Put this on the back soon. That's where I'm at. Cute. That was, this is fun. These are addicting. Mm. So, yeah. I, and the gnomes are just cute. You know, it's like, oh, what am I stitching? And then it comes to life. You can see what you're mm. stitching. So, yep. Very nice. Um, they're no joke. I yeah. Mean, that's the floss short, list. Yeah. And I took a chance. And then and paying attention to what the beads are. and I took a chance and did not match them to my thread book. Because you have medium gray, dark gray, light gray, beige gray, very light gray. 1980s all over again. And I pulled them out. I pulled out all the colors I knew. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, when, right. you, when you only have one reddish brown. Right. And then I laid all the grays out, so, but if you're thinking about doing it, join Very Helen nice. and I. They're fun. So, that's it. I have several I should do. Um, I have one whip. I have all kinds of little ornament ones, too. To do. yeah. And again, I talked about these charts and how they're visiting each other. <laughs> that's why there's no door, right? Yes. And I am currently stitching the Scarlet House, my gift to thee. You'll see that I've made some changes because I did not like the contrast of the black and red. No. And I'm not doing the birds. That's a little creepy to me. I'd do one bird. I don't like those birds. This though. bird I would do. Ugh. But then again, I like birds. Yeah, but those are creepy ones. 20 count vintage country mocha. And that's where I'm at so far. Oh, she's carrying a tree. That's her gift to me. I love it. So I really have enjoyed this. I I put it away to um, finish up something. I can't remember what. And then I started eggs all around. Maybe I put it away to start that. Could be. So, love it. That's my only whip. We're done showing us stitching. Nope. One more. One I got more. one whip. Look at that. 18 minutes in. Bye, um, folks. <laughs> thanks for coming. Um, because we had so much snow and we haven't had snow, and I said, I'm going to have to change this I to my, touch mine all what year. is it called? Precipitation. Yeah. So, we're pro we're not to mention, spring. Stitchy Linda gave me the motivation because she finished hers. This is Winter Sampler by Crochetta Agogo. And... I think I had the roof done the last time I showed it. Very nice. So I filled in the house and I'm working on the windows. So that's like half the house. A mm, little more than half the house, give or take. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I just, I love stitching. If I, There's something about the big hoop, but if I go any smaller, I'm gonna have so much stuff around it. Um, this one might be good to put like a steering wheel cover or a round. Um, what do you call those things? Grind guard. Grind guard, yeah. But everything's rolled in, so I don't have make to... a square one fit. Well, yeah. This just going to go round. Um, oh, I just love it. I love it. So, that's all I worked on. That. That's all I worked on on 
Saturday or Sunday? It must have been Saturday because I started Holy Week stitching on Sunday. So, this might, me. This I know. might be a short one. Well, I'll never say never. I know, that's what we said last time. All right, so because I have the world's biggest hoop. It doesn't always go in your bag very well. Not well, no. You have to put it in, shimmy it around, and then tuck it in. This is my it's bag from sure. Jen. Boss me. Done. You called the, uh, March, yeah, March is done. We called, you called April numbers. I did. I got a message from somebody. I said, can, well, you, can you please call since it's snowing? And it was the 24th, so. Right. Um, some people did or didn't fill in the free space. Mine is just a free space, so it can be anything I want or nothing at all. Mm -hmm. um, we had O2 and O22, so mine was a whip and a bird pattern. So I'm going to pull a whip, and I'm going to start um, Stitches by Ethel, her new oh. Stitches in Time bird yeah. pattern. I'll yeah. show that next time. Um, in my free space, I had new start slash free space. So I'll have a new start because I have a start, at least a start scheduled for every month are this you, year. Are you banking the money for every square? I'm tracking it. That's an easy 13 bucks. Yeah, I'm tracking <laughs> it. And I had Christmas and Patriotic. So I'll be showing some things coming up that I will be doing in April. No, nice. oh, they're not going to be April. I'm still gonna work on them though. Yeah. So that's my boss me for April. Yeah, that's we got some plans for April, but yeah. I was gonna say where to go. Um I just noticed when I printed your It's okay, you I was off. trying to figure out who it was and it's fine. Yeah. So I have black ink, I don't have colored ink. I got the colored ink, but um yeah, so who have you watched? Oh, I watched quite a few. I did on Saturday. I cranked um, right through these. Boss Stitchers, Jane's Epic um, Whip Parade. 50. That was nice. That, was, that fun. was fun. I don't know. Do you really just have 50, Jane? Or those are 50 you found? <laughs> you know, she complained about that, but yet she was the one, I think, who set me up for 50 new starts in, fifth, uh, in my 50th year. Could be. Could be. I don't know. I went to bed, remember? Uh, welcome to Stitchery. Yep. And they um, announced on their floss tube that they'll be coming to our retreat next month. Coming so to Maine. that's going to be amazing. Hobbies of Holly has another video out, she's, and it's just as delightful. She's such a natural. I know. I love it. Sassy Southern Stitchers, yep. Megan and Lisa. The Carolina Stitchers, Joy and Emma Kay. I haven't caught that one yet. Um, Wildflower Stitcher, Krista. Running with Scissors, Stitching with Jane and Julie, yep. Molly and Kathy, Linens and Scraps. I actually think I'm a video behind on, I'm behind I'm way lot, behind But I think I'm, I'm a video behind on them. Uh, Jessica Sweetwater Stitcher, Nancy the Disorderly Stitcher, the Bougie Stitchers, Jen and Jenny and Nancy, and they also announced that they're coming too, so it'll be nice to yep. see them. Um, loose Thread Stitchers, uh, Jeannie and Leanne in Minnesota. I always love to watch them. And I can't figure out who's on here that got cut off. It's two S's. I don't know. And I've watched others, yeah. I'm sure. But... Um, I watched a lot of the same. Um, added to that list, I watched Stephanie, the New England Stitcher. She had a new one out. I found a new one. Jackie from Cross My Stitches. I haven't watched her yet. You I watched, mentioned her the last time and I haven't had a chance um, to. Nope, watch this is her. a new this is a different one. Mm, okay. Um I watched her tips and tricks video. And see it was I really it. neat. I need to watch it. Um some threading hmm. um ideas, um ways to thread your needle. I don't want to blow it, but Ways to thread your needle. You know how when you're sewing, you're stitching along, and this end up here, you always end up one short and one's longer? How she does it, it you don't do that. Oh. You basically tie it off. Oh. So it's really neat. Um, she has some really neat tips and tricks. Um, I watched Fanciful Flamingo, Alicia, 
Erin Elizabeth, I watched her pillow finishing tutorial. Oh, you were telling me about and, that. And um, she found poly pellets. Oh, so I know she has a hard time getting some things. Yep. So before she knew if she liked them, she bought two packages. And now she's she loving ten. them. Yep. But she, <laughs> the thing I took away, because mine are in a Ziploc bag, <clears throat> is she put them in, it would be what we used for scrapbooking paper, a bin. And she just dumped them right out. So as she's filling her pillow, it doesn't matter if they oh, fall out. Oh, got it. I, oh, what a good idea. Got it. And she learned that because she dumped them on the counter. <laughs> Ouch. Um, yeah, and I watched all the same ones. Well, most of the same ones that you did. Sassy Southern Stitches. I stopped that three or four times and messaged um, Megan and asked her for her color conversion because I'm ready to jump back into I stopped and ordered from a place I'd never heard of before, which, which is like... Olympia Sports or Dick's Sporting Goods oh, <laughs> Academy, um, Academy to get a bog backpack. Yep, they have those down south. Yep. Um, well, bog site has them. Right. Oh, you um, meant the academies. Yes. Yeah. Um, I messaged her for her color conversion for wordplay. Um, After being so put out with March, it's been, what, over a year? I've, I've been thinking about those a lot. So, um, but her April is just gorgeous. Yeah. The she, dress she used, color, yeah. And if you follow them on Instagram, Lisa has a finish that she was kind of bittersweet because she didn't want to finish it, but she's happy that she yeah. had to finish. So. Oh, I think she also finished her baseball one. Oh, did That's she? What, I think yeah. so. A couple, pe I think couple so. different That's people are working on it. So we did have a few questions, and... Um, one of the questions was, how is uh, cross-stitch fabric measured? Now, depending on your dyer will depend on what the measurements are. So I took these from Brandy Be Stitch Me site. Oh, yeah. They could vary a little bit, but it'll give you some idea. And I believe the person that asked said she was a quilter, but that um, fat quarters, fat halves, that sort of thing seemed a little different. And they stitch. are a little different because you can get, I know you can get like a fat quarter that can range that this, yeah, there this is number a range. is usually right. This number is usually the same. That one's usually right. different. So there is a range. Keep that in mind. But this is what I found just looking quickly. And most of the time it's prior to dying. I think. I believe so also because yes, I believe it's prior to dying and that can of course shrink up depending on the, the process that they right. use. Um, so a yard would be 36 by 55 inches, roughly. Yeah. Fat half, 36 by 27 inches. And a fat quarter, 18 by 27 inches. What's so a fat eighth? I didn't go there. Okay. So I'm assuming nine by, I don't know. Is it nine by 13, nine by 11, 12. It's small. Uh, yeah. It's nice to do little things, but... And the, a fat eighth, I know the smaller pieces on like one, two, three is a great way to try a fabric that you're not sure about. Yeah, and they're not expensive. Three, four. Which is nice. Five, five dollars. Yeah. What is a marking sampler? So this one I had to look up because I didn't know, but I've heard people talk about it. And so this is a definition that I found right off the interweb. Right off the interweb. Uh, a small piece of cloth with the alphabet numbers up to 10. And maybe the name of the girl who stitched it. So my my thinking is that it's not your sampler where there's a house and motifs and that sort of thing. It's I looked at it as a learning. I think that's sampler, what they were. That's how they learning were. their their numbers and letters, uh, or yeah. learning how to stitch them and get maybe maybe an original. The first step of stitching, yeah, is the way I. And you see a lot of, of original samplers that have, they're usually red or blue, mm -hmm. and they're um, the alphabet, the numbers, and their name, and their age. Yeah. So. What is your first, what was your first UFO, and why did you UFO it? So, to clarify, a UFO is an unfinished Finished. object. One that you have um, decided to get rid of. Yeah, unkitted done in a trash can sometimes i can tell you what nancy's is from the bougie stitchers but i, I want to know what yours is i could not tell you um my first one or one you can think of i've only 
I've only UFO'd like three or four things in all the years, but I can't tell you what they are. Um, they were either teeny tiny starts. I can't tell you what it is, but I know one of them I screwed up so badly I couldn't fix it. So, but to tell you the name, I... I think that might be a popular reason why people get frustrated yeah. with something and just say, forget it, it's done. I mean, I know... there's a big mistake. I know my motto is fug, fudge it or frog it, but... Yeah, you almost said not anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't say that very often. Like, woo, woo. Yeah. It's not rated for kids. We're good. <laughs> um, what about yours? Do you know? I do. And it was... It started as a mystery sal, and I learned that I don't like mystery sals. But I purchased this after the mystery sale was over. It was a Christmas project oh. by, was it Satsuma Street? Nope, Tiny Modernist. Tiny Modernist. I know exactly what yours Christmas is. Christmas wishes? Christmas? People did it and they put it in a box. They, they put them in the box. One of them yeah, put it in the box I, from Yeah, it just and... wasn't me. I didn't like the green fabric. I didn't like the floss for myself and I think that was the turning point for me really realizing that I liked more primitive didn't don't force myself to stitch something that others are because they enjoy it I'm right. gonna stitch things that I like I struggle with the and I got stars. and I think I actually gave everything away we may it may have been an original giveaway as oh, is I think take so. this project do I don't it. know if I sent the stitching. Maybe I just sent the floss that I had in the pattern, but yeah. we did. We sent it on to somebody who would enjoy it. Yeah. So if you have any other questions, but put them in the comments that's and we a great, will try to address them. It's a great question because it leads to stitch what you like. If you're not happy, stop stitching it. Right. No matter how far along you are, don't force yourself. Or if to... it's a huge project and put it away for a little bit. Maybe you just need a break. Maybe you're just tired and you need a different scenery. New start. Yeah. Yeah. New yeah. Start. Or take what you've got, leave it alone, you know, make it however, and take that portion of the project and make a pillow or. Right. So. Right. I'm trying to think who did that. <clears throat> well, Paula, Paula Vaughn. Nope. nope. Ivana. Pfeiffer has shown how she took some yeah. projects that were partially finished and made a bunch of drums. That's what it was. Them. That's what it was. So, but. so those are the questions that came through. And, uh, you know, ask. If yeah, we love it. I can always Google. <laughs> yep. we, we can figure that out. Or maybe it's something that within, if we don't know, someone within our stitchy circle yep. might have the answer for or know how to do it or have that expertise. So. Anyway. Yeah. Huh? What do we... Uh, we went to the Crafty Grimalkin. Oh, I'm, before, let's, we, let's, before we do that. Yeah, let's talk about if we have any announcement type stuff. Oh, too. okay. No, go ahead. Well, I meant to show this the last time. I went to Goodwill. Oh, that's cute. And I can't tell. Um, but I found this, which I just thought was cute, but a gold round frame for two bucks. Yeah, but as I'm messaging Missy, I come across this. Well, we all know I like snowmen, but I wasn't gonna pick it up. I like the frame, but oh, I was wondering you if know, there was a year on it. Until I turned it over, and there's all kinds of stuff on the back. This is by Teresa Kogut. So it's to Teresa Kogut resides in Michigan with her husband. Da 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 da. Love of art began at an early age. She was drawing and coloring. Graduate of fine arts from her hometown college. She mostly painted oil portraits. She took a watercolor class. This is going to have some age because it says she has 75 published works. So we know so, she has a lot more than yeah. that now. Watercolor, kind of neat. watercolor paintings that enhance your home and warm your heart. That's fun. So you should send her a picture of this and yeah. ask her what she knows so, about it. I wasn't going to buy it. I mean, I like it. It's cute, but... Until I saw that it was Teresa's. Do the not. The basket of noses. I know. He's putting noses on. That's he's, really cute. So, I meant to show that. That was that a last. fun find. It was a fun find. So. Um, so <clears throat> we're going to talk just a tiny bit about the retreat. And 
show you haul and we have some stitchy kindness. We do? Yep. And then um, talk about upcoming plans. Yeah. Which are going to be fun. And I forgot to bring my thing. Oh, did you bring it? You have yours. I forgot to bring my cookbook. <laughs> I brought my thing. I don't know what it is, but um, I brought it. Retreat. It's... Trunk shows are coming in. If you, we have a pile it's of boxes over crazy, here. Crazy. Crazy. In a good way. Um, really looking forward to it. 22 days. Three weeks out. Um, We're so excited. So, well, I'm not sure that's the word I would use I'm, if I'm, I'm being excited. honest. I know. I am excited. I have all, I have a whole range of emotion. Right. There's a lot um, of work. I mean, we've got a lot of work. definitely a lot of work. And... Come and see me at noontime on Friday of the retreat. And then, I, because in my head, I know I'm always thinking about things. She's, That's she's, just me. She's our what if. Well. And somebody has to be. But we've said it from the get-go. Everybody has their, fine. their niche. Oh, we have a wonderful, and, wonderful team. Yeah. This is not me and Kathy. We not have an amazing all. team. But everybody has that. And I trust everybody. That working just my brain. area. You know? Yeah, it's going to be fun. She's so, a spreadsheet queen. I found a shirt that says, oh, I need a spreadsheet for that. I should have bought it. I found one that said something about between the sheets. Oh. But it was clearly <laughs> spreadsheets. spreadsheets. That was really fun. I shared that with Emma because Emma loves a good spreadsheet. Yeah. Too. So anyway, we have been um, sneak peeking. Uh, well, really not sneak, sneak peeking, but announcing those that have trunk shows that are coming. And um, we can now say oh, that. Oh, another one coming our, today. Oh, yeah. That um, what we consider our LNS now, the Crafty Grimalkin, uh, Reese will be coming and setting up for the weekend her shop. Or, yeah, her shop. So we're really looking forward to that. And um, there's not another. We have another announcement coming today, but I don't know what the list is. Oh, we've had a couple since our last filming. Right, but yeah. Anyway, uh, very, very excited. Uh, Sweet Wing was one of them that we will yep. have her as a trunk show. So anyway, also, if you are local and um, you perhaps think that you might want to join you us, you might want to join us, get on the wait list. If you are able to come at the last <coughs> minute, we would love to have some local names that we can draw from yep. because we still know that things are going to change for people. Um, it's just the nature of doing retreats. Yeah. It happens, and uh, we would love if somebody wants to come, and it's, you know, if you can get a week's notice, and that's yeah. good for you. Even if you're not local. Well, yes, yes. obviously. But. It, get on the wait list, and if there's a place to put a note, put that in there at the, as, as a note that you could take a last-minute notice. Yeah. So, anyway, yeah, absolutely. you never know. You never know. But so that's, that being said... Um, yes, we talked about this before, so... We are probably reaching the point where if you were to cancel, we were giving refunds if we could replace your spot. Yes. Now we're getting down to crunch time. Of course, that will still happen, but it's not guaranteed. Yeah. And if you, we do call you off the wait list, you are going to, we're going to look for a really quick turnaround on payment so that we can go through names. So we're looking at a three day. And if you know you can't come and you're received... Um, communication and an invoice, please just let us know as yep. soon as you can. Let Emma know. Respond to the invoice. Respond to the invoice, we have the had, email. Yeah, we've had a few emails to us. And yeah, yeah. We, I've taken care of that, yeah. but it respond to the actual email from your registration. Yeah. That would be wonderful. Then so, we don't yeah. miss something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. What you got? Hall? Yeah, I have Hall. So, oh, I have haul. So, it was so much fun to go and get the bag. Mm -hmm. So, Reese's shop is amazing. I actually get very overwhelmed in a shop. Um, and I was miss, surprised you got overwhelmed there, but. I wanted to see it all, but I wanted to see what you were doing. And I wanted no. to see. So, yeah. I it was, it. So, it's not overwhelm. It's nosiness. Well, Yeah. <laughs> You know, take it however you want. Hey, you know, but don't there, were, call, don't there were friends there. We right. met up with a lot right. of friends. And, and we started doing this, and then these people came and in. And then we started doing this, fun. and those people came it in. It was so. a fun day. Reese and her husband 
um, just amazing uh, hosts and hostess, and we ordered we had lunch. lunch. It was it was a nice day. Yeah, a really nice day. So, and her shop is just fabulous. Yes. So I'm gonna show. I don't want that. So I got her needle minder. So I'm so excited because you know we have to follow the fate, the the floss tube rules and not show anything. Oh. But, um, the fabric I did cut. This is the Winter Mint by Atomic Ranch. And like I said, I got it in 18 count and 28 Lugana. Yep. Is this 18 count? 28. It's 20, it's 20 count. Okay. I lied before. This is Jackalope from Lappin Loops. 28 count Ada. I've never heard of Lappin Loops, but mm, that's pretty close. Yep. Very pretty. So I bought this because Emma said oh. it goes with Chubby Bunny. Mm -hmm. Nope, that's Chubby Bird. <laughs> I wanted Chubby Bunny, but she sold out. But I got all the threads. <coughs> you wanted Chubby B. I got Chubby B. Oh. I wanted Chubby Bunny, and she's out of it. You had my Chubby Bunny. You don't have Chubby Bunny. You oh. had Chubby Bird. Never mind. <laughs> I have all the floss for it now, and then I have fabric. So that might be one of my bird starts, too. There you go. And this is Antique White Atomic Ranch. You bought that for a specific reason. I did. Oh. Did you already start it? No. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, I bought Antique White by Atomic Ranch. I like Atomic Ranch. But I know what I bought Quite it well. for now, and that's not what I picked. Um... I did get Chubby B, and she's ordered Chubby Bunny. She ran out. She said had 20 like the week before, and she said she's out. She'll um, bring it to the retreat for you? She is, yep. Yeah. Um, she had the Teresa Kogut uh, Nashville freebie called I Stitch, so we grabbed that, but I'm not going to show that. Yeah, it's meant just for their yeah. shops. Um, I picked up the three new classic color works. I, I haven't even looked at any of this. London Fog, Weather Vane, and Misty Mauve. Mauve. I love them. And they came with a free chart. Or I got the chart and got the free floss. So you can look at that however <laughs> you want. I think you paid for the floss. I think I paid for the floss. Um, I got Spring Quaker. I have taken care of some of the floss. Um, by Primrose Cottage. I picked up two Just different remembering flosses. remembering I didn't bring the ones I bought. Um, I picked up a purple uh, variegated dinky dye and I picked up a co cottage garden, is that what it's called? Thread um, to decide which one I'm doing it with. I got this one. I, I ran into this one like I tripped over it and had to have it. Teresa Kogut's Needle Worker's Oath. And the skirt is two different colors. I decided to change it, so I'm gonna do it in a variegated, I think it's called Oak Tree. Um, but it says, I promise to keep needlework in my hoop and try with all my heart to stitch daily. So, That's love a good it. good oath. Hmm? That's a good oath. Yeah. And then, I, Missy saw this somewhere, and it was on this board by Chantel141. I saw it on Chantel's video. Okay, so she said I had to buy the board. She said it, I had to buy it. Um, I bought another Mill Hill kit. Broom parking. Love it. Can't wait. We say that word differently. You, how do you say it? Broom. You, I said broom. Broom. Yeah, hush. It's all right, though. And drawer? Drawer? No, drawer. no, no. Um... I got the cookbook, but we're going to talk about that in a minute. Mm -hmm. I left mine at home because I used it in the kitchen last uh, night. This blew everybody's mind that Kathy picked this up. One Stitch at a Time by La Di Da. Beautiful things come together one stitch at a time. Yes, people, I... Because you were... I was um, talking to you about how some of us are starting Channing Street. Right. And I just... I loved it, but I couldn't <laughs> you, wrap my head. You were so, like, no, this is the one I want. Yes. So, yes, this is a sampler. Yes. No, I'm not doing the big square border. You got a board 
you got to block that in somehow. I meant the outside board. Oh, okay. Um, I'm giving you orders. Maybe not. Maybe I don't put that in. But who knows? And then this doesn't seem like that's all I got <clears throat> for what I paid. <laughs> I bought Erin Elizabeth's Blooming Vase. So pretty. And I bought the Dinky Dyes to go with it. She had it kitted. Yeah. They are gorgeous. It's just these three, right? Yeah. So nice. Oh. Nope, that's not what I bought that for. Huh. Oh, I have one more that I bought, but... Um, Is that what you bought the white for? Not this one. No, this is, I oh, mean... This is actually stitched on Vintage Country Mocha. That doesn't look like Vintage Country Mocha. 36 linen, though, so that it would explain dye, why it looks a little lighter, different. Lighter. Yep, it calls for Ecru. Ecru. Thyme Green and Lagoon Pearl. Yeah, so. but the, is that the Dinky no, Dye No, Lagoon, Pearl, and Red Jasper. Yeah. And then the optional DMC conversion. So. That makes more sense. Yeah. So. It's really pretty. Can't wait. Can't wait. And then we have one that we're going to start together. What did you buy? Oh, Lord. <laughs> it was really naughty. She won. It was really naughty. I placed an order that I also paid for ahead of time. You didn't count that, though. In the winning part? No, but I didn't win of everybody there. You won in the car. It was Emma. Emma rode up with us from B&E Stitchery, and we met Brandy up there. Let's see, who else, while you're digging that out, we met Helen and um, Tina and Cheryl and Wendy and Rebecca. Rebecca. We, we sat that was with... was a Teresa that we got to meet. There was another Teresa, yeah. Um, and, oh, shoot. Diggity dang. Maniac Stitcher. Stitcher. I can't remember your she first name. She popped her head she in. She popped her head in. That was fun. That what was fun. What are those? Well, I'll tell you in a second. Oh, okay. Um, and like Jenny from Bangor, and it was fun. I don't know. It was there was there was a bunch of people, 13 and it was, 14 it was just so much fun. It was very so. nice. Um, before I show my haul, I wanted Karen from London, Ontario, Canada, sent us these, and she sent a beautiful card. Aww. A pumpernickel card. And she has, I believe she says she, which I have not watched, she has a floss tube, and part of her floss tube, she has a segment called Send a Smile. Aww. Um, includes an ornament for each of us. Um, basic motif on these was taken from Rosewood Manor's One Dozen Quakers. She is Stitching Owl. Oh, nice. Is, she, is that her floss tube name? I have not looked into her yet. Well, we'll figure it out. Stitching Karen. Owl. Karen. Oh, thank you, Karen. So she stitched these. Oh, they're gorgeous. And did the beading. And they're just so pretty. And they're double-sided. So, so pretty. The finishing is just gorgeous. Wow. Just beautiful. Thank so you, you can so choose what much, you, Karen. What you want and um, choose which one you like. Awesome. Okay, haul. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a really bad thing, and it hasn't stopped. Unfor well, fortunately. Well, Mine will be like this next time. Yeah, I got other stuff. I wanted to, and I didn't, I bought a couple of the uh, Primrose Cottage Quakers. I put them all in the same portfolio and I forgot to bring you the portfolio. Bought, um, a Christmas, a 4th of July, and I already had one, I feel like. And I bought some dinky dye. Yeah. And I had to try... Um, a couple of uh, cottage, garden. Cottage, cottage garden threads. And I thought I would definitely use these in some small patriotic. That's hashtag Brandy made you do it. Oh, she sure did. And Kathy showed you the new 
um, Classic Colorworks floss. I got those also, and I picked up one of the, this is hard to tell, one of the sampler threads, um, and it's Wisteria. I got that And it has too. a purple Now I know why I bought tinge. that. <laughs> okay. And I got the Weeks colors, Grassland. That Did you get these a lot. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't figure out what I bought them for. I thought they stood there in the kitchen and me telling you, do it. <laughs> River Otter. Yeah, River Otter. Oh, that's not showing the variegation. I know. That's pretty. Winter Wheat Cardinal. I really like yeah. this one. And I like this too. Queen Anne's Lace. I don't know if I grabbed that one or not. So I got those because, you know, it's thread. This came off a D stash with, um, oh, dang. I'm saying? terrible today. Medical student, she just got her match. I met her at Megan. Okay. She has floss tube too. I'm sorry, Megan. If I remember it halfway through this video, I will yell it out. So anyway, she was de-stashing some stuff. So I got some fabric. You used to message me when there was de-stashes. Um, someone did. Okay. Or maybe it was all linen and I knew not to. Okay. Yeah. I think no, that's I'm not, what it was. I'm not doing the linen yet. And this is um, 32 water lily. Water lily. That's pretty. Oh, yeah. So it's, it's not showing. Green. It's a little yeah. stiffer, but I don't mind that. Yeah, anyway, yeah. those came off a de-stash. I got these at um, Crafty Grimalkin. So this is Prairie Land by Atomic Ranch. That's really pretty. And I really like that. That was a fat quarter of 20 count Ada. And I have not been able to get my hands on much of this at all. So I, mean, I bought the whole half yard. I didn't say I didn't even see that. Fabrics by Stephanie Driftwood. And this is a 32 Lugana. Nope. I, you must have grabbed that before I even saw it. because That's what she had it. and I grabbed it. Yeah. I really want, at some point, I don't know when, I have um, Hands-On Designs calendar, the second series. Celebration, year of celebration. Yes, and it's done on this. And oh, really? I really liked this fabric. I'm, I'm not one that has to have the call for fabric in all cases. No. But in that one, I really liked yeah. it. Um... This was a market purchase. This isn't started at all. Going down this purchasing. I know, Glendon Place um, Tulipa, the Tulip Mandala. That's so pretty. And it is just gorgeous. What is it? Just the beads. So that is that stitched on? And the dinky dies. Oh, look at those colors, Missy. I want some white. For this I think I want white white yeah this is actually done on um, antique white Joblin I won't use the Joblin if I can avoid it so what is the difference what is Joblin what makes it Joblin to me is more of an it's an even weave but it's loosey-goosey and sometimes I lose my threads underneath okay. My floss under the thread. So it's a it's, it's kind of a brand Sullivan's I've not used Sullivan's it's kind of like a brand ish of yeah, it's a particular a fabric yeah. but so there's that okay that basket's empty i placed a pre-order um you can put that one at the bottom with crafty grimalkin only because that starts monday oh well i'll talk about it yeah uh annie the proper stitcher i bought almost all of her um new releases the promise of spring I must have flowers always and always. That one's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? They're all pretty. 80 by 90. Oh, that's not bad. I had to have this. Of course. I'll change the hair color. Ellie's Garden. I loved this, the dance. There's something about that willow tree. A forest full of stars that hang upon the limbs of magic flowing willows dancing in the wind. Really like that. And um, April 1st, because she's a fool, that's distracting me. I'm going to move that up there. 
<laughs> She's not really. Our yeah. friend Stephanie, the New England stitcher, is um, stitching this for this. So this is a birthday start. This is her birthday her. start. She doesn't um, have a hashtag or anything, though. Annie, the proper stitcher, strength and dignity. She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. And that is and all the call for. So I didn't realize April first was coming up. So Mon quickly. I thought it was Sunday, but it's Monday. So I got those, and I, two sweet little stitchers got this kit too, this week in the mail. Oops. Oh, she found more. <clears throat> Plum Street Samplers Nelson. I just love this. Love it. And I got... Um, that was the one you said you had to have. Yes, and I got the called for over dyed floss while I was there. Her wall of floss. Oh, it's on a is brick wall. It's beautiful. Just gorgeous. And I'm going to start this uh, mm. next month with some friends. Channing Street, a memorial. And this is by Annie B's Folk Art. Folk Art, but it doesn't even say it on it. Must be on the back here that's covered. Oh. Um, and I bought uh, the three overdies that go with that also. So we shall see. I think that's probably going to be a big old house. Yeah. I didn't understand what was up with all the animals. I have not opened this and read it. But somebody told me that this is the street that Annie and her husband, the first house they bought together and Something about raised that. their babies in. And these animals depict all the pets that their kids had. Oh, okay. Which is kind of fun. And there's frogs and... There's frog. Yeah. Oh, up there. I was looking at the top of the fence. Chickens, dog, mm -hmm. crab. Those are stars. Okay. Nice. Yeah. I liked it. Wow. We did good. That should be enough. That should be enough. So wait, now we have till, some plans. Wait till after the retreat and see what we have for Hall. <laughs> mm. mm. Yes. So one of the plans is the birthday start with Stephanie, the New England Stitcher. Mm -hmm. We're gonna um, join. Can I see that cookbook? Oh, yes. There's actually quite a few people doing it. Oh. I think Brandy and Emma are doing it. I am behind on watching this, Stephanie. So, um, yes, I think they are. Yeah. So, Kathy and I picked this up. Well, she said that. We both bought this. Mine is at home. We bought the um, 24 Market uh, cookbook. And there's some, there's like six patterns at least in here that I really want to oh, stitch. But there's like a pattern on every page. Oh, yeah. And... Um. Um, one of the recipes I made last night and there's none left and it was a big old nine by 13 pan. Let's see if I can find a picture without showing patterns. Of course I go right to the desserts. You, it was the chicken, chicken Alfredo, Alfredo lasagna. It was so good. The yep. hardest part was boiling lasagna, lasagna noodles. Um, I think so, I'm going to try this, the cover recipe. Yeah. Lemon pound cake. Yeah. I want to show... I, um, I don't know how these things pop up in my head, but sometimes I say to Kathy, I had an idea. She did, and sometimes <clears throat> that costs us money. Hashtag Market 24 Cook-Off Sal. Market 24 to 4 Cook-Off Sal. Stitch anything or cook anything from this book and oh, use the hashtag and tag Kathy and I in it. I want to try the macaroni and cheese casserole too, but that's not what I was showing. Oh, come on. We would love it? to have you join us in that. And whenever, however, nothing. <sighs> I can't no show No start, it. no end. I can't show it. I thought there was a picture of the pie. No, I do like that one too. So that. A lot of people have made comments about the cookbooks. I've never purchased one in the past. I purchased last year's and I didn't touch anything. This in one it. is phenomenal. Very so, nice. And very I don't big. cook. So. And there's not a picture of the chart. Oh, there is. If I can hide that. But it's really, really small. Let's see. I don't even know if you can see it. By Primrose Cottage. But there's Christmas patterns. Love there's everything. And the recipes are a great variety right down to vegan also. Yep. Grandma Winnie's or including bread, vegan, bread not pudding. Right down to. Pudding. Bread pudding. Ugh. Uh, oh, there's a homemade like donuts in here. Mm, donuts. 
Um, I did want to show my upcoming April scheduled start. This is the oh, floss. Look at that. And these are floss tags from uh, ah, 12. 12 something, something co. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, maybe it's, no, it's not on these. Of course not. Um, anyway, I love them. You showed them last tags. time. I did. I love them. So I'm using them. Um, I am going to stitch this project on a piece of linen. It is. But listen, it's not hard. I know. I believe this to be 20. I know it's 28 count. Picture this plus. So it's probably going to be closer to 32. And I think that this is legacy. I thought in the initially talking with Joy that it was ancient, but ancient I think is more yellowy. I have a piece of leg. I have a piece that Holly sent us. She sent me a little teeny tiny piece of legacy. No, I mean this is the color legacy, not legacy linens. Oh, oh. I mean the pinky stuff that she sent us? I thought mine was more that color, but Oh, well maybe I'll have you to have something else too. But what are you starting? So I am going to start. April is our anniversary month, and we will be married 37 years. And I'm going to start oh. Teresa Kogut's um, Love Your Family. If you want to change the world, go home and love your family. And if this does not speak my husband, other than anything that's patriotic, it, mm. he always says it starts at home, Missy. It all starts at home. So I'm going to start this for our anniversary. Nice. And we might be married 50 years before it gets done. That's okay. <laughs> we'll still be married, though. Wow. Um, the next thing I told Kathy that she has to do. Yes, she did. Another hashtag and another new fun thing to do. Um, and something else that I could say Joy got me into. Hashtag Joy made me do it. <laughs> That's not we, the hashtag. We might we might have made each other do I messaged, messaged her and said, Missy told me I had to. And she messaged back and said, yes. Yes. Um, hashtag building block Sal. It's building. Yes. Building block Sal. Okay. Oh, shoot. Let me double check my Instagram here. No, I don't do the thumb thing. So it oh, takes me a minute. So, you're doing, yeah, building block Sal. So, you didn't show that. That was uh, also a purchase oh, you got. Oh, shoot. Oh, I'm getting ready to show oh, it. Oh, okay. So, I told Kathy, dig out any of your things you have that are blocks. Think your series like Country Cottage Needleworks, um, Little House Needleworks. The Snow Village. Hawk we... Run Village. Um, anything that is a series that has separate blocks that you can either stitch separately or together. Some people use them as ornaments. Some finish everything up as pillows individually and put them in a dough bowl. Let's dig them out and let's start stitching. Joy and I are going to devote the month of May to just stitching on those things. Okay. You're welcome to join us. Use that hashtag. Um, tag the three of us. Yep. Joy, Kathy, myself. And... I will tell you who Joy is because it changed recently. It did? Yep. Joy L underscore the Carolina Stitchers oh. on Instagram. I she to... she added her floss tube name in. Oh, okay. You're, you're still following her. She yeah. just changed her name. Oh, okay. So we're going to show what we have. Yes, and I'm torn, so I have... I'm torn on what I still, there's I've something. a lot of these, but I know. Is that another? Oh, no. That's oh, no, 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 no. So the one that I pulled is Jack Frost Tree Farm. And... Which is so nice. I, I, and this was a... a um, someone passed these on to me when yeah. we were at Barefoot. And that was it Cigilinda, is... right? Yes. It is a seven-part series. Problem is... I have that, too. I, I have to go back and see the layout... Oh. Because I thought it was more than seven Well, parts. there's a few layouts, and one shows it long as like a village. Right, and I don't I don't have a place to, oh. I mean, really. But, so this is the Over center one. Yeah. Um, it's cute. It's just so cute. The, the car with the, 
with the tree and the kids under the tree and hey look a red car with a tree the hot cocoa stand what i'm really motivated for is i'm doing a christmas tree for ellie yes <laughs> and i want to get some things stitched. so i think that's what i'm choosing i have to go and see do the math and see what i need i yeah see, i you know what i need for pet so pet i'm pet. also going to take that month and work on i have a couple that are whips and i really need to put some work in on them so I might do a few things from Glitter Village. Mm, that's gonna be so cute. I've ordered. But you what's you want to do those now. as ornaments? Yes, and I've ordered. What's out for um, fuzz on my face? The pastel ornament series. That has not come in yet. <laughs> All in the name of the child. This is big. I didn't realize how big it was until I pulled it out, which shows you how long it's been. Oh, this is another I... one, yeah. So this is the Early American series, and I don't have a complete picture of them, but... But it's... Jane has, has a lot on it's hers. Like, yes, she does. So Jane to... at Boss Stitchers is almost done. Well, she has a lot more done than I do. And she has all so the squares So it's just done. different people. And this is... I have one done. I have Betsy Ross done. And I am using, you'll see that fun border. If you go on to Vanna Pfeiffer's blog, Twisted Stitcher, she's done a free border. And, um, you know, I always like to, to mention that because she's done that for people to just go grab if they want to put it around. She's done it for this and Fall on the Farm. Yep. Maybe others too, but that's... That's what I know of. I'm not going to use it on Fall on the Farm, but I am going to use it on that one. Just something about these that I like. And here comes another one. Ooh. This is Fall on the Farm, right? And this is Fall on the Farm. I have four of the nine done for this oh. one. So cute. And I'm kind of catering it toward our family. So cute. Oh, my word. That does look like Justin. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> Please, did you add more so that to says, the legs uh, to make him tall? No, I didn't. Oh, my word. That's awesome. So I used their last name, Cooks and Patch. And this is a little Grace. And then up here is um, it's Fresh Vegetables, and I changed it to Timberlake. I'm going to take that hair out and make it more my color. I just thought it was funny. That's and there great. is an older farmer, so we'll make him bald. Bald. Oh. And the cat I changed to an orange tabby because we have an orange tabby. Well, thanks for not taking them out. No, I didn't take the cat out. If I could have made it into a yellow lab, I would have. But. So now you'll have to find a block and add a baby. I got to put her in there somehow. I'll have to look through it. <clears throat> and then I have quite a few. That's empty. To choose from. Well, this is two. Christmas. Again, um, Santa's Village. So I have those. Oh, I didn't know you had Santa's Village. Yep. I will definitely be starting. Those oh, were no, gifted this to me. This is, that's not the one I was thinking of. I was thinking of the gingerbread. And this was a Christmas series. gift from Mike. Um, Jack Frost. It's, I found it on Etsy and said, here, please get this. And so it's Jack Frost Farm okay. with the floss oh, oh that's what i wanted to see and i have fabric but i don't know if i'm going to use the fabric it's really stiff okay i want to i want to take a peek at this when we're done it's just so. the floss no this is the cutting this is diagram oh okay yeah you so, should take a picture yeah, of that then you can figure out your placement and when we went to crafty grimalkin this is the one i'm torn on i need to I stop get this. with my mouth because there were witnesses. And I said, the only thing that's going to put me over the edge in buying Log Cabin <laughs> Christmas is if Reese has the floss pack. And she had one. And you found it. So this is Log Cabin Christmas. I don't, I won't, I don't know what this is stitched on, but I'm not. Oh, I see. That's just a digital rendering. Okay. I love that they show all of it. This one, and you can go online to with any of the Little House Needleworks and the Country Cottage Needleworks, and particularly on their websites, and they will show you 
placement, um, the stitch count, if you do them all together, if you do them separate, they really have yeah. some great information out there. So, floss. And log cabin and squirrel. And the first one, isn't that I may, cute? I may go on auto ship for this one, I'm torn. I asked Reese if she was gonna do an auto ship and I can't remember what she said. But yeah, that would be fun, wouldn't it? It's so cute. I just love it. And look at all these pretty colors. No. Kick sticks. This is the fabric that came. How do you with say that one? Watley Woodlands. Watley Woodlands. Nice. I think. Campfire. I love that color. Thirty count portobello linen. <clears throat> oh, is that what you got to do that on? No, it came with Jack Frost. Oh. Tree Farm. Oh, yep. Somebody nice. was destashing the whole thing, $35. That's why I told Mike, I bought this, please give it to me for Christmas. I bought it, yeah. Nice. He's like, okay, that's what you want. Yeah, I'm gonna take a peek at this when we're done. I'm gonna set it here. Are so. you all set with this? Yes. Okay. I thought that was, um... isn't there one gingerbread village? Yes, I and don't have that. I think our friend Joy has them all. <laughs> and and ones i can't wait they're gonna do a special video i don't know when it's uploading i can't wait is it is it already up and i haven't watched it i don't think so it's all about this so oh. be watching um the, the carolina Carolinas. stitchers yep. is i bet okay emma to... would love one if it was all halloween yeah she's that doing a hawk run fun. isn't she i don't know she loves her, her halloween yeah so Two new hashtags. We know hashtags are iffy, so please tag us so we can see them. Yes. Hashtag Market24 Cook-Off Sal. Yep. Anything and everything related to this year's cookbook. Yep. Recipes. Maybe you switch up a recipe. I always like to know that, too. Maybe it was a fail. Maybe it could be a fail for you. Who knows? I mean, I'm anxious. There's another. There's a lemon cheesy bar in there. Yes. Well, I can't find lemon frosting, so I, I'll make my own. But yeah. And hashtag building block Sal. Not building blocks, but building, building block. block Sal. And those will be in the show notes. Yeah. I always put a bunch of hashtags in there. So that's going to be fun. Um, I think it's going to be fun. So that's for the month of May. I pleaded that we not do it in April. Yep. Yeah. And uh, I think Helen D has a new Sal coming out. She does. Take a look at her video. Uh, Cobweb Corner is gonna have her stuff right yeah and i can't remember what it was it's a b uh erin elizabeth's b her it's her brand new b pattern <laughs> yep it's a house diggity dang why do we do this youtube has she done the video already mm -hmm. oh just talk amongst yourselves there we go helen Day. Um, yes, Sal announcement. You, oh, sorry, action. there she is. <laughs> Did you hear her? Helen lost her power for 36 hours. Poor she Emmy wanted did. poor Emmy wanted the uh, Bee Farm Sal. Hashtag Bee Farm Sal. Using um Bee Farm by Erin Elizabeth Designs. One year ago. Yep. Oh my, that, I can't even look at that. <laughs> that. So, that was a year ago when Missy surprised me with um, a retreat. If it had been this year, you would have had a present of 22 feet of snow or more. I know. Man, that was a lot of snow. I just, but I, I had two solid days at home and didn't leave. Yeah, I didn't know that. That was a gift. Um, I did too. It that was, was nice. really nice. So. Let's not forget if you, this is the land of hashtags, I think. If you are stitching on a Glendon place, I would love to see it. Hashtag let's GPS together. Yep. Um, and if you're stitching a told in a garden, which I have not pulled mine out, hashtag T I A G with, with friends. Yep. Um, I have a, f I don't even know. I, I kind of keep a running list of just different hashtags underneath. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. It'll be fine. We're just over an hour. It's six o'clock and it's still light out. I know. And my dinner is ready, minus rice. Uh, and I made dessert today. I don't wow. know who I am. Well, you didn't have Ellie. I know. I had, I made, well, 
It's a blueberry coffee cake. Ooh, and it's like, a pan, it's like a pan of brownies on the counter. Every time I walk by, I'm just taking a little sliver. So just I a made, little sliver. Uh, last week, um, speaking of recipes, I made, I call them Girl Scout brownies. It's a brownie. And I, <laughs> so what kind of brownies are these? Nope. It's, it's a brownie. Oh, Girl Scout cookies must be coming in soon. Sorry. They're buying me. Uh, it's a brownie. And then you let that cool. And then you melt the caramels. I use the little caramel balls instead yep. of unwrapping and I toasted coconut, mixed that in with the caramel, put it on the brownie, refrigerated that for a little bit, and then I drizzled chocolate when, once I cut the bars, and then let them come up to room temperature and took them to work. They were awesome. So she didn't share with the neighbors? No, because I took them to work. That's why you didn't get blueberry cake. Yeah. Just so. Um, those anyway. are really good. I Thank said if they're bad, peel the top off and just eat the brownie. That's right. Yeah. So thank you yes. um, for always coming back, always encouraging us. Um, we have amazing viewers. I love the interaction in the comments section, and um, we just look forward to this. Absolutely. Uh, we have a lot coming up in the next few months as far as travel and things that we're doing, so um, we will try to keep you as updated as we can if we're yep. not going to be around. But for right now, it is head down, all retreat, and um, things are coming together very nicely. Yeah. And uh, I will say that those of you who do retreats and do them often, my hat is off to you. Yeah. It's fun. Yeah. It's fun. So but, um, I'm, I'm very thankful to have other people that to work with with it. Yeah. Our very team thankful. is great. So um, if you celebrate, have a very blessed yes. Uh, Easter. Yes. Um, if you don't, I hope you have a great weekend. Yeah, a week, couple of weeks. Do you have um, Easter plans? We are going up to see Rob's mom, and we're going to church with his mom. And nice. I don't are know. Are you spending the night? Or? No, oh. no. Um, I don't know who's going to be there, but we'll do. Hopefully, she'll do a boiled dinner. Ugh. Oh, do you guys know what that is? A New England boiled dinner. 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 You cook a ham. She cooks it in the oven and then finishes it in the. Okay, um, and it's and I don't like cabbage, but it's boiled with cabbage and carrots and potatoes. Sometimes turnip. I grew up yep. with turnip. Oh, it smells so, horrific. It's so good. We can't be any more opposite. I have never made one in my home, and I can't nope. tell you, I never ate the stuff after I left my mother's house. My mother-in-law makes the best I do boiled not dinner. Not like cabbage and turnip. So that's I don't awesome like cabbage. I don't. Um, like we don't cabbage. have any plants. No. Nope. No, nope, we had our kids down for supper last night. So, and gave Ellie her Easter basket. They will go to. Did you give her her book? No, I didn't grab it out of the car. I left it in your car with Ashley's taxes. It's still in my car. We'll grab it. Okay. Um, um, yeah. We... So, yeah, I don't know. We will have Ellie on Saturday. We have her for a little while. Nice. We'll go to church Saturday night. Coffee and... with pops, is that? Yeah, that's kind of a thing. So. Um, and then I don't know what we'll do Sunday. Yeah. I don't know. It Lately, that is my day to just chill and catch up on things at home. Yeah. I work Saturday. We'll see. I need to FFO my retreat swap and finish some things. I want to stitch some pillows together. I want to mm -hmm. finish quack, quack, hunk, hunk, quack, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Um, so close. But yeah. That's it. Stitch. So. Start all the things. That's right. That's the best thing to do. So. Well, thank you so much for joining yes, us. We'll so see much. you in a couple of weeks. And um, hope you have a happy Easter. Yes.